Ok, I'm on code with Guillaume.com, my school online, if you don't know it yet. And I would like to have, probably, it's a banner on the top. And I would like that when I click, I would like to have a pop-up or an action with the form embed into my website. So what I'm going to do at first is to come back to this offer, Community Manager, and I will say, OK, that's great, but I would like to share it. So if I click on share, I come back here, I got the share link, but this is not what I want. What I want is to embed the form. So here we see, and it's clearly easy to understand, there are three options to embed this form. The first one, it's a standard option. So when I click on it, and if I unzoom, here we see that I got the option to embed my form inside my website. Okay, so what I can do probably is to create a new page called jobs, for instance. Right, I'm on Next.js, I got this page jobs, and if I come back here, it's empty. I would like to embed my form here. So I can come back, and as we can see, I got several options. So here I can choose standard, pop-up, full page. We're going to start with standard, okay? So here I got a 8. We can see that I can put some options such as dynamic 8. So if we click here, we see that we've got uh, some changes about the height and I got automatically, automatically adjust the height of the embed to fit the form content. If I want also, I can hide the form title, which will be cool, I think. I can align content on the left, okay? Or I can have some kind of uh, container here and it looks really cool, so I'm gonna keep it. I got the custom domain option that we're gonna see later and the tally branding that I can remove because right now I got this made with tally that I probably want to uh, uh, delete later. I mean, not delete, but just hide. So I'm gonna click here on get the code and suddenly I got here all the option to embed the script of tally immediately inside my application. Well, we got the option down here, use JavaScript. So I'm going to click on use JavaScript and here I'm going to move a little bit because we don't see uh, anything. We can see here that we got some code that I can copy paste and I'm going just to copy paste this one, okay? Just in here and I'm going to also import this script. All right, so I can't use this uh, uh, script that we got here. What I got to do is to go on my nux.config.ts and use actually the script. So up here, I'm going to add a new script with the source, which will be actually the tally uh, widget embed.js, which is actually the library that will help me to embed the tally form. Then I need to take this tally load embeds. So I'm going to, going to use unmounted and I'm gonna say, if there is a, a tally inside my scope, okay, I'm gonna say tally load embeds. All right, so now on mounted, if there is tally, it's going to load my embeds. And if I get back, there we go. We've got the form that is totally here embed inside my app. So now we see that we've got some problem here. So what I can say is that I'm gonna say it's going to be class uh, BG white because here I'm using uh, Tailwind. And as we see, I have embed my form, okay? So I got everything that is here on my website on codewithguillaume.com. So basically, if I'm fulfilling everything, let's see if it goes on Tally. And if I go back to Tally, we see here that I got one submission, so I'm going to click on it. And we see here that we've got all the data that I just fulfilled. Francis Underwood, there we go. And I got the image that I uploaded. All of this directly from my website embed as a standard iframe. Okay, so let's remove this now and let's begin again. I'm going to come back and I'm going to click on edit here. So I got this form. Probably I should change some stuff because now it's going to be on the website. I want it to be different. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the pop-up. Okay, so as you see here, we've got an example. So I'm going to move it here. We can also embed tally as a pop-up, all right? So we can see here that if I click on, on, on X, yeah, the pop-up is going to disappear, but is it's going to reappear. So here we've got some other options. So I'm going to update again, and I'm going to click again on pop-up. So here you got several options. On open, you can say um, on button click, on page load, when the page is going to be loaded. After some time, when you try to exit, 
or when you scroll, okay? Then you can say the position of the, 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 yeah, of the job offer. Let's say that I'm going to put that like this. And about the width, I can, uh, I can put a, a bigger width because I want it probably to be larger because me, as you see, I got a lot of text. So I really got to work on this. I want to hide the title because here we see that the title is too big and is taking too much uh, hate. So I want to hide the title. And I would like to say, hey, when you arrive on my website, Hey, I'm looking for a community manager, blah, blah, blah. If you don't, you can quit, whatever. There is also the emoji. So here I'm going to change the emoji. Let's say that I want to have a rocket. So I'm going to copy paste the rocket here. I'm going to put this, the rocket. There we go. And as you see, the emoji is moving a little bit. That's really cool. Um, here I got the animation. Okay, so basically I can change the animation of the emoji. I find it so cool. I can say hide on submit, of course. And I can put some delay. So here I'm going to put uh, two seconds delay. And then there are also the same thing. So when I click on get code, it's exactly like before. What we can use here is all the options to embed this pop-up. So on this piece of code, of course, we still got the use JavaScript and we've got a uh, tally uh, open pop-up here uh, option. Then later you can have other options such as pop-up options for uh, TypeScript, you can also pass, as we see here, the options directly inside the open pop-up function from Tally, okay? The layout model, the width, etc., etc. So when we go down, there are several options, but also we can catch when the form is open or when it's closed on page view, on submit. You can use that to send message, to uh, get logs about uh, what happened actually when the user clicked on it. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to copy paste this piece of code. And of course you understand that this code here is the code of your form to retrieve your form. So I'm going to get back to my application and unmounted with Tally. Uh, here I'm going to delete this because I'm not on TypeScript. I'm going to console log at every step. Okay. At every step, I'm going to console log what's happening in here. So I'm going to put here, uh, open. Here it's going to be closed, here it's going to be viewed, and here it's going to be submitted. All right, so I'm going to upload here, and when I get back, what do I get? I get my form that appears as a pop-up. So when I click on the X, it's disappearing. So you can still use a button to trigger again this tally open pop-up function. Let's try the last one. Let's try the one with the full page. Okay, so as you see here, I can have a full page embed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy paste this iframe. I'm going to get back. I'm going to remove what I did about this tally one here. There we go. And I'm going to put my iframe directly here. And there we go. I got my full form that is embed on my website. It's like if I was directly on tally.so with the link, the, the short link directly on the platform. We saw that with Tally, we can create forms immediately on this platform to collect the data. And we can also embed our form directly inside our websites or applications. Why would we do that? Just because we don't want to code any form and we don't want to store the data in a database where we have to maintain the columns, the data entrance, etc., etc. It's been some times that now I'm using only Tally when I got to create forms for clients or companies. Because it's always about marketing, it's always about finding clients, it's always about support or stuff that are not necessarily related to developers, but related to sales, marketing or care. So my best advice of the day is that use Tally to create forms and embed them into your application. You will save a lot of time and you will have not to maintain databases and code. You will just have to go on a URL and get the results.